Hello, I'm Christy Kuser, Curatorial Assistant for Works on Paper at the Clark Art Institute and organizer of the upcoming exhibition, Lines from Life, French Drawings from the Diamond Collection. Last week, I featured drawings that represented the dominant tradition of early 19th century French art. By the middle of the century, artists involved in the realist movement began to reject the idealized forms centered in academic instruction, such as figures drawn from history and the classics. Instead, they focused on what they observed in everyday life, from anecdotal domestic scenes to grittier glimpses of the effects of advancing industrialization in France. Today, let's look at monochromatic drawings by two artists who viewed ordinary people as worthy of representation. Francois Bonvin, the son of a constable and seamstress, devoted his career to depicting the working classes. In this slice of life scene, a tavern keeper puffs from a Dutch clay tobacco pipe, enjoying a respite from serving patrons. This drawing combines portraiture and still life. The table is set with a pitcher and dinnerware, and playing cards lay on the floor. The composition pays tribute to paintings in the 17th century Dutch genre tradition that Bonvin studied at the Louvre. Yet the apron-clad proprietor and the seated man wear 19th century French clothing. This highly worked charcoal drawing, which relates to a painting of the same name that Bonvin completed the following year, blurs the line between a preparatory and finished work. By the 1860s, the School of Fine Arts in Paris permitted students to use charcoal for drawings presented for evaluation. Some artists independently began to specialize in this easily blended, expressive medium. The development of a transparent liquid fixative, which stabilized powdery pigments on the sheet, allowed Bonvin and his contemporaries to leave lasting impressions in charcoal. In the final decades of the century, neo-impressionist artist Charles Ingrand pictured the people around him using the smooth, deep, and indelible Conte crayon, a compressed mixture of powdered graphite and clay with black pigments. In this freely handled drawing, Ingrand explores the contrast of light and dark, bringing attention to two women sewing in quiet concentration. Hurried strokes and large swaths of shading created by dragging the black crayon across the sheet, render the interior an ambiguous space, possibly a private residence serving doubly as a workshop. Focusing on the seamstress's diligent labor under lamplight, this composition subtly conveys Angrand's egalitarian ideals by honoring the low-wage, predominantly female workforce on whom France's garment industry relied. Artist Paul Signac, a friend of Angrand's who shared his anti-capitalist politics, particularly admired the aesthetic qualities of such crayon drawings. He described them as poems of light. Thank you for joining me today. We look forward to seeing you in the galleries when the Clark reopens to the public. In the meantime, check out the Clark Connects feature page on our website for more video presentations from our staff and collections-based activities.